Hey guys, welcome to LaRock's Cooking Adventures. I'm your host, LaRock. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a rockfish imperial. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout outs to all you guys just watching this show. Please subscribe, like, share, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um, also, I wanted to shout out Leo P at First Point Wholesale Meats for donating this rockfish that we're going to create today. Papa, this is my big Dutch buddy. This is for you. Okay, guys, here we have one pound and a half, or I'm sorry, one pound and eight ounces of fresh rockfish side. This is the side. We're going to skin her, take the uh, skin off, and cut the belly just a little bit. For ingredients for the uh, Imperial, you're going to need half cup of mayonnaise, one egg. We have one pound of crab meat. We have some yellow and red peppers. A little bit of parsley. Dijon mustard or Cesare sauce, lemon juice. We also have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six scallops and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shrimps and a little bit of um, scallions. We have some panko, which we're going to use, and we also have some plain breadcrumbs. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with putting together the imperial sauce itself. So we have that half cup of mayonnaise. Gonna take one egg. It should have beat the egg first, actually, but that's okay. It's gonna do what it do. We got this, no big deal. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard. All right. Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Like that, boom, boom, boom. And then one teaspoon of lemon juice. Bam, and get that all together. Whisk it up. Try not to make a mess all over the place, like the Rock is about to do. Shout out to John Seabrook. John, this is for you too. Also, nice and creamy. Then I'm gonna add a pinch of this parsley. All right, bing pinch. Okay, this is basically your um regular crab cake mixture wet sauce, but we're gonna add a couple of different things that you typically don't put inside of a crab cake. So we're gonna set this to the side. Remember guys, when you um, use this imperial sauce, right? You wanna save some of it to top the fish with. We're gonna take that crab meat. Pound is a bit much for this uh, little piece, but mm, I'm gonna go ahead and be greedy with it. Like that. We're gonna add some peppers. That's like a tablespoon there. Another tablespoon, a little bit more. Okay. Scallions. These scallions were frozen, so they look a little flaky and funny right now, but that's okay. It's going to do what it do. Then, I'm going to move that to the side. I'm going to cut these scallions. Scallions. Scallops. Jeez, boy, you've been smoking today. Ha <laughs> ha. Rocky style. Okay. Just cut them how you like them. I'm going to cut them a little bit big. Because I want them to pop out. That uh, lump is like not jumbo lump. So it's not, um, you know, real big. Just put a rough chop on it. Now, I did saute these scallops off prior to cutting them. I uh, sauteed them and cooled them. And then the shrimp next. Now, this dish is going to be awesome, guys, when it comes out of that oven. Super hot. I'm not going to cut this fish into filet portions, which is sized portions, like for personal consumption. I'm going to do it more of a family-style way and leave it whole and um, serve it as one big piece of fish. Okay, that's what we got. We got the scallops in there. We got the shrimp in there. We got the crab in there. And we have the two peppers and the scallions. All right, guys, magic trick. I didn't mention the uh, whole bay. So I have a teaspoon here. Just gonna drop a teaspoon of that right in that mixture. 
and some dry mustard. I definitely neglected to say that. So make sure I'm saying it now. Bing, bang, boom. Like that. Now I want this to look a little bit more brighter. So I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of red peppers and yellow peppers. Okay, now we got that all in there. Just mix it up a bit. You could have added those two uh, seasons that I just added to this meat mixture into the uh, wet mixture. But either way, it doesn't matter because it's in there. So that's what counts. Now, don't forget, you're gonna wanna add your breadcrumbs and your panko. I have a quarter cup. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of each, a little less. Because if you add too much, then you can't take it out. But you can always add more, for sure. Okay, boom, like that. Now, just going to pour some of this in there. But remember to save some. Because you're going to want to dress the top of the rockfish with that. And just be a little delicate with it. Just make sure it's, you know, wet enough and not too wet. Okay? You don't want it wet, wet. Okay, now we're gonna get on to skinning this rockfish. All right, we're gonna get into this rockfish right here. Okay, so what you wanna do is grab her, your rockfish, just grab her by the tail. Well, don't Donald Trump her, but just grab, grab her by the tail, pull, insert your knife, go slow because you don't wanna have jagged cuts. And you don't want to lose any of the meat. See how that's coming along? Now, grab her a little bit and pull on her. Okay, give her a slight tug. Make sure when you're cutting, you're cutting like this at an angle upwards and then downwards. Upwards and then downwards. Okay. You'll be able to feel it when you're doing it. Which way you should angle your knife. When it's cutting like this, you got to go up sometimes, then down, up, down, up, down. You want to try to go straight across as possible, but as you're pulling it, sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. So look at that. Boom. Perfect. Doesn't get better than that. Just get rid of the skin. Uh, I said I was going to trim this belly, but it looks all right. So I'm just going to leave it there. Well, actually, I'm not. Just cut that little piece right there. Get rid of that. Okay. Next, we're gonna put her directly onto a hot shoe tray. All right, the reason why I'm gonna use this paper underneath is so that when I go to pick it up when it's done, it's easier to handle. Okay, now I'm gonna season it with a little bit of this uh, Old Bay. Just a little bit. Like that. All right. Okay, guys looking good okay then we're just gonna take that imperial crab imperial and just put it right on top oh man I can't wait to eat this thing here mm -hmm. kind of like basically one big crab cake on top of her little bit more now I have the oven already preheating at 400 degrees okay it would be really good if you guys have um like a, a, a bottle to ladle the uh, rest of the imperial dressing right over the top it's good like that mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try to do this without making too much of a mess here go Right down the middle, like that. Let it do what it do. Okay, now guys, we used a quarter cup of uh, panko and breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more, right on top. Use that, like that. What would be really good also, a little trick, is some Parmesan cheese if you have. Okay, 
So you see that there like that? Just put that right on top. Now, there's another secret ingredient. After I put a little bit of Parmesan on top, it would be good if you use like some high quality Parmesan, but I don't have any high quality Parmesan. So I'm just gonna use this store-bought grated Parmesan. Just put a little bit, sprinkle a little bit on top of her. Like that. Bust down this little ball. Bing. And then, secret here. Smoked paprika. Bring out some of the color. Okay, so now she's ready to rock and roll. We're just gonna throw it right in the oven. Get it right in the oven. The oven is at 400 for, uh, we're gonna start with 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes should be super done. Okay, and another little secret right there. Put the parsley in and put just a little bit more right on top. All right, guys, that's that. I'm gonna get her in the oven. Look good, look good. All right, guys, the timer's going off. Take a look. All right, there you have it. Rockfish Imperial. Let me take a knife and sticker. Oh, I have a fork here. Let's make sure she's good and done. Oh, butter. Oh, butter soft right there. And guys, uh, remember in the beginning of the video, I was like, this is a bit much of the crab crab mixture. So I went ahead and made some uh, some crab cakes. And there those are. Four little petites. Uh-oh, busted it up. Four little petite crab cakes. But that's not what this video is about. All right. How's she look to you guys? Look good? There you guys have it, the rocks, rockfish imperial. How's that look? It's nice, very, very, very nice. Oh, guys, by the way, here are those crab cakes that I made with that extra, with that extra uh, crab meat, and the fourth one. I kind of ate on. <laughs> so yeah, this was the extra crab meat. So you guys, when you do this recipe, you got one pound, eight ounces on the, on the side. Just use half of the can, half a pound, all right, of crab meat. Unless you're going to be greedy like me and eat those and make them into crab cakes or what have you. I knew that I was going to do that. That's why I said I was going to go ahead and use it. Guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell. Till the next adventure, see ya.